This is a video for the Annie Goodwin Syndicate. Well, guys, Bruno's done it. We're officially a five-star horse. Uh, and he didn't just do it, he did it well. Uh, obviously, it was a huge trip to get him there to Germany. He travelled well. We put in a very, very good dressage test. Um, his dressage was late Thursday afternoon, and uh, Silva and Bettina were there at the event helping me all through the week, uh, warming the horse up, training the horse. And Funny enough, I do actually think this is now his weaker phase. Um, we scored a, uh, a 32, which was not too bad, to be honest, to, for his first five-star to get a, a score of 32. was uh, I think that's quite a uh, respectable score. Um, we, we had a good test. There weren't any major mistakes. There was just the flying changes. I think we lost a fair few points. Um, and the, the, basically the, what we've just got to keep improving is the quality of his work. He's quite a, a long horse from head to toe and he's a little bit stiff through his body. So with Bettina and Silva, been trying to get him a little bit rounder and a little bit more through and keeping his frame up. But you can see there's a, a lot to like, and I keep looking at videos of Bruno every six months, and every six months he's a little bit better than he was six months ago. So I think we're on the upward curve. And this is about as complicated as test as he'll ever have to do in his life. This is uh, the five-star B test. And uh, every complicated dressage movement you can think of is, is all in this test. So. He's a, he's a little bit green at it too. Um, by saying that, he's got plenty of quality, like he's got good paces, um, but you know, the, the flying change has got to get a little bit better. We've got to get slightly better angle in the uh, half pass. And we've got, it's got a, I feel like the biggest difference between me and the, the girls that really hit it out of the park is just all the little details, the centerline square halts, the perfect rain back, the transitions, are all these things that I think once um, Bruno comes back into work that I've got to dial in on a little more. So obviously it was a, a pretty big nerve wracking um, sort of journey getting there. Like I, deep down after his run at Bukolo, I was sure that he was up to the task, but Remember, this is as hard as it gets. This is uh, this competition was against the best horses and the best riders in the world, and uh, you never know if they can do it until they do it. And I couldn't have been more proud of uh, Bruno. Like I said, he got a 32 on the dressage. Now that left him in 17th place, so we're a little bit off the pace, but not that far away in marks, if that makes any sense. So. Um, he, you know, uh, let's say um, Bruno got a 32.4, he was in 17th, and Luke got a 30, and he was in 9th. So two points, um, there was eight placings within two points. So we're, we're close. And uh, towards the end of this dressage test, you'll see uh, our flying changes, which, which really brought our score down. We got a couple of fives and fours. So, you know, I think with uh, six more months of training, we're going to clean all that up and we should be able to get him down into the 20s. This is the stretching circle, which uh, Bruno loves this part, stretching the old neck out. So it was awesome seeing uh, a number of the Annie Goodwin Syndicate over there in Lamoulin. And uh, obviously, guys, I want to thank everyone for helping me with this guy it's uh it's been an amazing journey so far and after this competition i really think uh it's the beginning of a a uh, awesome five-star run for bruno um the cross country was a tough one it was probably wasn't as big as in in size as as um kentucky like the the galloping jumps were, it's a bit of a flatter, lower, twisty course. So it was a different type of five star. It had so many three stride, corner to corner, big box to narrow, offset hedges, you know, three strides and two strides. And 
Um, Bruno is just fabulous. Uh, he's got such a good galloping stride here, and he, he, he wants to go. Like, he's quite a... You touch him with your leg, and he sprints away, and he just knows his stuff now, too. Like, he can sort of lock onto each jump and know exactly... Um, you know, he's pretty seasoned, you know, with corners and narrows and drops into water, and he's brave. The thing that impressed me the most about Bruno this weekend was... At about three quarters of the way around, I did feel him get tired, and he's never gone this far before, and okay, so he never ever okay. dropped off the bit or started to suck back, or I could feel him that he was he was struggling a bit, but he kept his ears pricked, he kept uh, his speed up, and he kept jumping in good way, a good fashion, which is a, a testament to his heart and bravery. He uh, really dug deep for me. And uh, geez, he was good at all these technical stuff. This next fence was probably the hardest fence on the course. I had trouble here on my first horse. Uh, I rode it a bit wrong and I changed my ride in on Bruno and uh, he nailed it. Got across, that was a big three strides to that corner in the water. And man, Bruno just pricked his ears and flew over it. So thinking out loud, I do believe that Bruno's come through this event in great health. Um, you know, he was pretty tired after the cross country, but even on the first trot up uh, on Saturday afternoon, he looked in perfect soundness. And then same again on the Sunday morning health inspection, he, uh, he presented perfectly fine. So I think we should start looking at another five star um, at the end of the year. And, Part of me is tempted to go to uh, Po in France. It's, um, I think it's a course that's well suited to Bruno. It's um, really, really difficult show jumping, flat, twisty course like this one. Um, but we'll make a decision on that once we get Bruno home. We'll get our vet to go over him from head to toe and just double check that everything's in good order. But my gut feeling is that he's, he's come through this uh, five star in great form. This is a, a lot of horses had trouble at this fence. The doubler hedges. Bruno nailed it. A long one stride. You can see him there just starting to labour a bit in his gallop. But the great thing about Bruno is he, he could maintain this stride and this energy the whole way home. Which he's such a big fast galloper that um, we still made the time quite comfortably. About here is two minutes to go. And uh, he's still careful and ears are pricked. And about now I'm starting to think, geez, we're going to do this. This is a quite a long uphill here and I give him a little bit of a cluck there. But it was a, uh, a huge accomplishment, huge achievement getting uh, Bruno around this uh, his first five star and not just to go around clear jumping to go under the time takes a huge amount of training and also a huge amount of heart from the horse and uh, I've got to tell you um, Bruno pinned his ears back and uh, jumped the, the course inside the time uh, I mean what a moment to finish there I, uh, I couldn't couldn't believe we'd actually done it you know you've been talking about it you've been dreaming about it and uh, to go all the way to one of the world's most uh, competitive five stars and to make the time on your first crack was uh, a massive achievement. So Bruno, uh, this is Sunday morning trot up. And uh, the big fella was feeling a million bucks. So the show jumping was good. I mean, in hindsight, I me and Peter, um, I think we could have challenged him a little bit more in the warm-up. He's been so reliable and so careful and so um, giving us clear round after clear round after clear round. I think 
if we had our time over again, we, we might have, we should have maybe jumped one big taller vertical before we went in. He was jumping so well in the, in the warm up that we felt at the time that we didn't need to pressure him or challenge him or anything like that. And schooling accident he had one rail down which the i don't it was a, you'll see it in a second it was quite a thin red plank and i don't know if bruno didn't see it or didn't pick up on it but it was a, a bit weird that he clobbered it because he's obviously such a uh, a good jumper together and he would have been so proud of this horse competing at five stars. that being said i think we finished in eighth place five star the rail we had down which um wasn't a dry eye i believe the next fence you know i think we would have been in five star winner six place so this rail cost us two placings which is not too bad euro commerce washington so anyway um it's a bit disappointing after he hit that rail though i mean look at him jump now it's uh unbelievable the uh and Man, scope and technique and it was, uh, to uh, really push himself that hard the day before in the cross country well. and then to come out and jump these big jumps huge uh, huge ad admiration for this horse anyway guys i think we'll get um bruno comes comes back a little bit later this week uh, my plan is to probably give him three weeks um vacation let him really three or even four weeks vacation let him really freshen up and then uh, I think we should find two, two events, four-star shorts, and then maybe one more five-star. Like I said before, deep down, I'm, I'm leaning towards Poe just because that suits him the best. But uh, obviously, there's some, a couple other options. Uh, that being said, guys, what so an amazing uh, horse. What an amazing result uh, to uh, uh, finish in eighth place in his first five-star against some of the the very very best Boy in the Martin world is uh, B it's a, we've got a lot to be proud of with this horse he he's, uh, he's a legend and uh he gets a well-deserved holiday um thank you all to all of you for all your support um i really feel like there's a, a great yeah, team of people fence, around Hesky bruno plank. and uh yeah i'll be making one of those Pools. red plank rails for my jump school ring all the best uh, four, four.